Hello, I'm Megan Ann, the Artist in Residence at Midwell's Art Centre and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Halloween mask. These masks are heavily inspired by Day of the Dead and the iconic Sugar Skull has really inspired me to make these masks for Halloween and show you how to make them. <laughs> So to start with you draw out your skull and then if you cut around just on the outside so cut cut the bottom bit so you want the mouth and then you've got this bit that you need to leave empty so you have enough room to put your pom-poms on. We're going to start with the eyes so you get a piece of your muslin cloth and you just draw with a pencil or a pen just draw the shape of your eye it doesn't have to be round it could be square any any kind of shape you want and then if you fold the piece of muslin cloth over then you can cut two pieces and they'll be the same size for you so you've got your eyes and you take your copy decks glue so you kind of brush all that in and then stick it on top just pat it down and then the same with the other side and stick it down now next you need to do the nose so again get a little piece a little off cuts are perfect for these put some down like that and then put your nose on. So these, you need these kind of flat to get the kind of 3D effect. So these bits, we won't be adding any um, fluff inside them. So you need them flat. So you need these cheek cheekbones to be really big, just like, just like the inside of your skull. So get your piece of muslin cloth. Now, it's best to have it this way so you need it just on the corner and the best way to do this is get a bit of your glue glue it down here so as you can see just like hold it down so you want this bit of the skull and then you want to get your bit of your fluff this is just any kind of you could even open inside of a pillow and use the inside of a pillow so it's just kind of like foamy fluffy stuff that you fill toys with and craft stuff so you get your piece and you stuff it so it's a bit fiddly but you need to stuff it full like that and then so you have these bits like that and then what you want to do is make sure you've got enough in there Keep hold of that and then you need to go all the way around there and start on the outside because the outside is probably the best to start with, it's a bit easier. So you've got all this bit now and you can kind of see it kind of making shape, so becoming more 3D coming off the page. So you can stick a little bit more in there just to make sure it's really, really 3D effect. So now you're going to get a bit of glue and I need to glue this side. So all the way underneath the eye. And then you just fold it over, so tuck, tuck the actual muslin cloth under and then hold it down again. All this is kind of excess muslin cloth that you don't need. So, And you need a little bit more glue around the outside. And then again, you can put a little bit of glue just on the outside here, and then you want to tuck it under. So again, get in a cornered piece, and you're sticking it down with the copy decks. Bit sticky, it'll get on your fingers. 
So get your stuff in again. Again, folding it over. So starting with the outside as it's easier. Folding it over, holding it down. Now again, you want to cut this excess piece off. Again, on now on the inside of the eye, holding that down, making sure it's stuck. Now I glue in the top. So next we're going to go on to the bit in the middle and all around the outside. So now for this one we're going to make little tubes. So as you can see, all the way around are little tubes. So they're all joined together to make the final kind of really big kind of extreme. So you won't be using all of this but it's good to cut it all the way to the end. So. What we want to make is these long tube-like pieces, so you get your stuff in again. And the best way to do it is kind of roll it into a little sausage. <laughs> Extend it over the muslin cloth, like this. Put the hands up. Glue again. And you just swipe it along. So put quite a bit, so make sure it's all stuck. Now you want to roll it just like this. As you're going, tuck in the foam bit under. So keep on rolling, keep on rolling. And then you have this. So now we're going to use this to then mould around the eyes and also use it for the nose. So this bit is a bit longer so and a bit thicker so I'm going to use that for my actual nose and then bring it all the way around. So again, put in your glue onto the cardboard and holding it down. So now what we're doing is we're shaping around the top of the eyes where your eyebrows are. So again, putting glue on. All the way around. So now we need to do the other side. So again, getting your piece of muslin cloth, cutting a piece this big. Again, rolling it in a tube. So pulling it out. And rolling it over. You've got all that glue stuck like that. I'm going to put glue on there. All around the eye. Bring it around, holding it down so it sticks. There you go. Now I'm going to cut this bit off. You can use this, the rest of the tube in the other little bits of the mask. So cutting that off, now you've got a raw edge. So just getting glue and putting it down there. And again, folding it over and holding it down just so you can't see the kind of fluff coming through. Now, what we're going to go on to next is doing the forehead. So we want to get a piece, quite a big piece and all the way around, all the way around because you're going to be covering all this space now to get that big kind 
and a forehead 3D effect. Get a corner of your muslin cloth, stick it down and you're running it all the way to the edge of your piece, remembering to leave this bit of the mask. So you're going to be turning it all the way around, getting your stuff in, and pushing it all, pushing it all the way down again, making sure you're stuffing all the way to the edges. Then what you want to do is take your scissors, cut it all the way around, leaving a bit of space because you want to be folding it over and tucking it under. So. so now we're going to tuck it under. So glue all the way over the top. Remember leaving this space for the pom-poms. Are you holding it on there? So now you've got your forehead. And now next we're going to go on to the mouth. So we're just gonna do, again, another sausage, another tube to go all the way around the bottom to give it that shape. So you want it to go all the way under this bit, so it has to be quite long, just because you want to curve it. Doing a line all the way down there. It's easiest to do one side and then do the other one just because it's quite long. There we go. This piece is going to go all the way down and around you. So we're going to cut just the end off. And then we're moving it all the way around, so holding it as it goes and then cut in the top here. But remembering like before, so tuck it under, so a little bit of glue there, and then tuck it all the way under. Next we're gonna do the nose. So that kind of underneath, kind of upside down heart shape, that's what we kind of want for the nose. So again, making a tube. So basically the whole mask is just loads of tubes all then stuck together. So a little bit smaller, so not as much fluff needed for this one. Just as you did before, putting the glue on that side. And rolling it. Get your mask all around his nose. And then shape in that. So for this, you want to really push that top bit up to get that kind of upside down heart shape. So just holding it there while it keeps its form. Well, two last tube bits are going to be the mouth, so, so, cut your piece, so you're only actually needing this big of a tube, so measure it out and then you'll have an idea of where to cut, and then the glue. So it's kind of the top of the mouth that we're doing for this one. So you can either do a straight line or you can have it a little bit more wibbly wobbly to give it a bit more character. Just literally just for sticking it down. And then you just, as you're going along, kind of hold different pieces and bring it up and down. So it's kind of 
got that odd kind of shaped effect. Last bit is the teeth. So you want to get a piece that's perfect for my teeth. So, so you start by gluing it this side. Now, we want those kind of indented teeth kind of marks. So you've got all these different indents. So that's what we're going to do. So you get a bit of your glue and you actually glue it right on top. And you kind of scrunch it up. So you've got to get your fingers kind of a bit, a bit gluey, but then sticking it up. So you have this little indent. So you've got that kind of tooth like mark. Okay, I'm waiting for the glue to dry and then just repeating what you did before for the other teeth. So now all these little bits around here haven't actually got fluff in, in them. So all you get, this is great for your little off cuts that you haven't actually used. So you just grab them so you're not wasting any of the muslin cloth and you're sticking a bit of glue all the way around on the bits where you can see cardboard. And you can either have perfectly flat pieces or you can kind of fold it to get this kind of like ruffled effect that we've got here. So fill in all the areas that you don't want to see cardboard. So we've also got these little bits. You could either leave them, but I'm going to cover them just because when you paint over the actual muslin cloth, you get quite a nice texture of the paint. So you've actually got the base of your Halloween mask. Now, leaving this, we've left this side so we could put the actual pom-poms on the top of the mask. So you have to actually fold this over. So we're going to take our scissors and we're gonna just gonna cut pieces like this. And so you just bend it over and then you're kind of crossing the two bits over like this. So the two bits you've cut and then you grab your stapler and just staple down there. Mask like that so it's actually curved over. So then you have space for the actual pom-poms and you can make little holes just on the inside of here for a piece of string. So I've just got standard black paint, just acrylic paint. You can use any type of paint you want. You could even use pens. This doesn't even need to have to be black. It could be blue, any kind of colour you want. You can paint the eyes. So we're just going in and we're painting all around the inside. So getting all up in the kind of crevice of the, the eye. I even go in the little bits like this so it gives it a bit more of a weird kind of shape. And after the eye's done, you're going to want to do your nose. So I don't actually paint the outside of the nose, all I've done is paint the inside. So again, just giving it that like 3D effect. So you go in with your paintbrush, just like pull in up the sides just so you don't get it over the so now we're just going to give it a bit more texture so we're going to go into the teeth so all those little pieces you made with pushing up the um, muslin cloth you want to kind of go in there to kind of like emphasize you're giving him a bit more of a character now And just doing lines. Emphasizing all the different shapes that you've created with these tubes of the muslin cloth. Kind of gives it a bit more, makes it pop a bit more. And then I just highlight those cheekbones by going underneath with the black. paint that little bit of cardboard. Now what I do, 
So I use Posca pens. Don't need to be too precious about it. Just kind of go in making different marks. On this one, I've done a little heart and a little flower. So you could add all different shapes. It's that kind of iconic kind of floral Day of the Dead patterns because they love colour in the actual festival. So just again going in. You could do this with paint, you don't need to do them with pens, you could just do exactly the same as what I did with the black paint. Next part is making the pom-poms. I'm going to show you how you can actually make the pom-poms which then attach to the top of the mask. The way I make pom-poms is actually with pom-pom makers. So you can get these online or in wool shops have them. So you just, they're just pieces that attach like this and then you pop them in like that. So you start with this side. So you grab your wool, get a little bit of wool, at the end and you just start holding that piece there and you just start wrapping it around. So you want that piece like that and you just start going around. So this is to make like the massive pom-poms. So you get different sizes. So there's this one and there's this one and there's a few smaller other ones that you can get. But today we're making some big ones, a statement headpiece. So then from the red, I'm gonna go in with the pink. Moving on to a different color, I'm gonna pick up my orange. And same again, just carry on wrapping. So the more you wrap it, the fluffier your pom-pom will be. So. Pop this back into that piece like that. So, and then you've got the other side. So you do exactly the same with the other side. Just get your piece of wool, wrap it round. I'll start with the yellow this time because I started a different colour last time to kind of like get different different shades of colours all together. It kind of gives you that weird kind of pattern. Okay, so we got that side. So now you've got your both sides, pop that in like that. So now you've got whole pom pom. And you grab your little scissors and you start cutting away. As you start cutting away, you can see all the kind of pom pom, and all the colours coming together. So you've got to cut all the way down until you can see that green bit at the end. So you want to see the plastic bit. All that, make sure all of it is cut all the way around there. Now, you want to grab a piece of wool, doesn't matter what colour because you're not really going to see this piece of wool. And you're going to get your piece of wool like this and you're just going to, this bit, push that piece all the way down in there. Now you want to pull that real tight, making sure it's all the way around. And you just make a knot just a simple knot and you want to pull it down 
put it really, really tight. And then do one more knot to make sure it's all in place. Open these up, so these little bits here. Just pop that open, pop that open. And on the other side. And then there. You have your pom-pom. Now you can either leave it like this, you kind of cut off the little scraggly bits. And you could even cut it down so it really it makes a really tight pom-pom, but I kind of like the fluffiness of it, so I'm gonna leave it like that. To stick the pom-poms on, you just grab a glue gun and you put a big piece. big piece of glue just there making sure so you want quite a bit just to make sure that pom-poms are going to stick so you grab your pom-pom hold it down so every little bit just put in dots for every pom-pom another one holding it down small ones down the side and there you have your Halloween mask <laughs> thank you for watching